Hi friends! I went back to the thrift store and got more yarn with my $10 coupon, so please, you're gonna wanna stick around. You will. Hi friends! My name is Claire and this is my channel. Woodshed Beery! Here, I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me, like yarn, so if that sounds good to you, or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos three times a week. Click the like, click the like. And if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, I just did a $900 luxury yarn haul, so please go check that out. So yes, I went back to Savers. It was my final trip back. I'm sure they're gonna put out more yarn that is high-end because it doesn't seem like they're slowing down. So if you live in Northern California, you should go to your local Savers and, and see what's up because uh, I, don't, I don't have any more room for yarn and um, I could literally go back every time and just continue to buy it. It's like a drug to me. This, the deal on this yarn is so good. I went back yesterday because I had a $10 coupon and I still spent $70. Not as good of a deal as the previous days, but almost as good of a deal. And yeah, it would have been $80 had I not um, had the coupon, but I can't go back guys. It's just not a good, I can't say no to the yarn. I can't say no. If you understand, you understand. Yeah, I can't buy any yarn for a while, guys. It's, I need to stop. Where am I gonna put it? I know I'm gonna find a place for everything that I have and that I'm gonna use it, but I really need to actually use it before we move on, so. I'm trying to think if there was any unmarked rando yarn and there was just one, but it's so beautiful. It's this hand-dyed, roving, so I'm assuming it's hand-dyed, hand-spun, natural yarn. So it's probably either wool, there might be silk in it, and it's just got this beautiful speckle. It is a one or a two weight, depending on where it is in the line. I don't know what it is. I know it's natural because it's absolutely hand dyed. Gorgeous. And uh, probably if this was in a shop, anywhere from like 10, not 10. If I bought this in a Hank in a fancy yarn shop, it'd at least be probably $20. Uh, they had three more of these Barocco Vintage Washable Blend. 52% ac acrylic, 40% wool, 8% nylon. I didn't want to buy a bunch of these in other bad bags because it is, it does have some acrylic in it and that wasn't really what I was going for. I was trying to find all the high-end stuff that they had. Three more of these, they are $10 a piece and that means this is $30 worth of yarn. They had two more of the Cascade 2020, which I believe is about 10, 13, $13 a piece and it is 100% Peruvian Highland wool. So pretty, 220 yards. Just so pretty. So now I think I have three of these. And the color is so pretty. And it's probably a three weight. They also had a one-off of the Cascade 2020 Superwash, which sells for $12 a skein. And this is just a pretty brown color, 100% super wash wool, color 862. How much are you getting? 220 yards. So this is the same size as this. Yes. So this is the same size as this. Isn't that funny? This one's the most interesting yarn that I got or the fanciest looking novelty kind of yarn. It is cloud soft labels kind of coming off it's called trendsetter yarns dune made in italy 
50 grams, 87 yards. Dry cleaning, recommended, Van Nuys, California. It is 45% mohair, 25% acrylic, 20% viscose, 6% new wool, and 4% polyester. How pretty. I don't think there's a color on it, guys. Sorry. Color 58. There was only one of those in there. Super pretty, though. And this retails for $15.50 a skein. Look at this gorgeous baby. Oh my gosh. Kind of has like a 70s Sesame Street vibe. And it's called Painted Sock Yarn, 100% Merino Wool by Hill Country Yarns. I could not find this website. I did find uh, Hill Country Fibers. I don't know if they've changed and this is just an older skein of theirs. Look at all those vibrant saturated colors. You're getting 400 yards. And I couldn't find a price on it, but I'm thinking from what I saw on the other website, $18. In my last haul, we had three of these. Uh, this is uh, it in different colors. It's the Plymouth Yarn Taria Tweed. And color 2761, and this one I can't read the color on, but it's a brown one and a gray one. And they're kind of marled colors. They are strangely spun. It's like two pieces spun together. So it's not roving. Two ply, but thick for a two ply. And this was the one that is 40% merino wool, 30% llama, 30% silk. And I think that these colors might, or at least the brown, would go nicely with the green that I got, so I might use them together. And these retail for $14.99 a piece. I was excited about this because I've never owned any Rowan before. Rowan! At the thrift store! <laughs> I get so excited, guys. I get so excited. I kind of lost my mind. Did I need to spend more money on yarn? No. I was just going in to spend my $10 coupon, but... How can you say no? And I'll, I'll at least get a hat out of this, right? It's 219 yards. I just squeak a hat out of this. And it is made in Romania. Maybe I'll gift it to my friend. She's from Romania. She might really like this, actually. Maybe I'll gift it to her. It's made in Romania. It's 100% wool. And the company is out of England, West Yorkshire. Uh, but Rowan is super high-end, super quality, super respected yarn company. And this was the only ball of Rowan in any of the bags that I found. It cost $15 a skein. I think I'll move on to knit picks. Uh, I did get a few knit picks uh, things as well. They had three of these in there. Knit picks, Andy's Del Campo in the color Vineyard Heather. It's 100% Highland wool, 164 yards, a skein, Aaron weight. So pretty, that purple color. It's a little bit similar to the Cascade in color, but I think you can see the difference. Wow. They're both wool. This one's a little bit thicker and has more color variation. I love it, I love it. Are you kidding me? These are not super expensive. I think they go $7 a piece on Knit Picks. The other Knit Picks thing that I got, I feel like at the thrift store I may have overspent, but I couldn't help myself when I saw it, guys. I'm sorry. There was another bag there that was $20 and it was a lace weight wool from Oh, I can't remember what company. And it was very colorful, but I, I'm not gonna use it. So I didn't get it. And it was 50-50 acrylic wool, but this I knew as soon as I saw. I wanted it. This is 10 balls of Knit Picks Palette yarn. 
in all different colors. Sagebrush, Clarity, Seafaring, Blush. 100% wool, 50 gram balls. It's a fingering weight. Uh, but I just thought like you could put these all together and make like such a beautiful project. I really want to feel it. Okay, so it's not super soft. It looks soft, but it's definitely more wooly. Pretty, super pretty, very thin. But I loved all the colors. And they call this palette because they sell it in myriad colors. So I got this bag for $14.99. They usually run, I got this bag for $14.99. They run $4.50 a ball. So it's $45 worth of yarn. So not the best deal that I got, but I do admit I just got carried away seeing all of them together and all of the colors. I mean, there's like a black, a gray, sage, light blue, aqua, pink, green, two different reds, a cream. I just needed it and now I have it. This might be one of the favorite things that I uh, found in the bags. This is Classic Elite Yarns in Kumara. Look at this, 85% fine merino, 15% baby camel. Baby camel. How do I feel about it? Super soft. I love the color. You're getting a 50 gram ball is 128 yards. Made in Italy. Hand wash cold, lay flat to dry. Well, duh. And whoever had this started the project. So I'll just take that out and have 100 grams. And this goes for... This goes for $12 a ball, but def definitely one of my favorite finds because I don't have anything with camel in it. So I, this is super cool. This I had in my last haul as well in a pink color. There were three of these and this is the Katmandu Chunky from Queensland collection. These retail for 15 to $20 a ball and it is merino wool, silk and cashmere for a hundred gram ball. I love this color green. They don't have names on the high end greens. They're just colors, color 128. It's kind of like a pea green. But I like the definition and I like the different variation in colors. So that will definitely make something really pretty, either a scarf or some hats or whatever, but that's such a great deal. It's the Plymouth Yarn Passe. 50% alpaca, 50% fine highland wool. Luxury Plymouth brand. And it's got like this blue, beautiful blue ombre. Color 740, nope, color 1005. And it's all blues. Roving, you're getting 130 yards. Here's another Cascade Yarns. It's the Tivoli. It's different. It's 60% uh, wool, 40% silk. Reminds me texture-wise of Touch of Silk from uh, Lion Brand that came out and I think they've discontinued it. But it runs for $12.95 a skein and I have one skein. I was so excited to see this one. Uh, this is a repeat from the last time. This is the Knit Picks Diadem DK in the color Platinum Solid. So now I have two of these and it's the 50% Alpaca, 50% Mulberry Silk. And it's probably the softest, most beautiful thing I've ever felt. So this sucks. I was so close to being finished with the video and I ran out of battery and none of my batteries are charged, so. Same old, same old up in here. So I'm gonna finish on my phone. Final thing we have are a few things of Neuro. This doesn't appear to be a full skein. This is Silk Garden. I have the Silk Garden sock, but none of the Silk Garden. It's 45% silk, 45% kid mohair, 10% lamb's wool. And it supposedly was a 50 gram ball, but there's definitely some missing. Color 87. Beautiful. And that one normally runs for 
$20 a ball, but I don't know how much is in there. But the nice thing about Neuro is because of all the colors, you can kind of mix them together. So I'll probably still be able to use this. And then finally I had three hanks of the uh, Tayo yarn. In the last haul I had Tayo Sport, and this is Tayo, Tayo, just the normal, which is a little bit thicker. 40% cotton, 30% silk, 15% wool, and 15% polyamide. You're getting 200 meters per 100 grams, and this is color 46. So I definitely have enough for a project. I love the orange and the teal, the magenta. It's very pretty, but then there's still the neutrals in there. I love it. Mm. Mm. These run, these run $20 a piece and they're definitely full skeins. So there's $60 worth of yarn right there. So just from the Neuro, just from the Neuro, I'm assuming this is half a skein, that's $70 worth of yarn right there. So just that pays for everything that I showed you today. I hope that you enjoyed this haul because I can't do one for a while. I need to use some of this yarn. I'm not gonna go back to the savers, so go hunt in your savers, go buy some of this lady's beautiful yarn collection because if I go, I'll buy more and I can't go. I cannot buy any more. I am done. This is me talking to myself. I cannot enter that store because if I go and they have more yarn, I will buy more yarn and where am I gonna put it? I need to start using it. So, you know, uh, pray for me as I try to use all this yarn up. Tell me in the comments, which arm was your favorite? I really love Neuro. As you can tell, I'm a fan. And then the, uh, the diadem, silk, and alpaca yarn. I could probably be buried in a coffin lined with this and I would be revived to life. That's how nice this is. Retail value, I got four, four $14.50, but I'm not sure the price on the one, um, but I'm not sure the price on that one hand-dyed hank. So probably about $430 worth of yarn. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will uh, talk to you soon. Bye. Stay cool out there, guys. It's so hot.